Hello, internet, and welcome to another stream. Uh, I decided not to continue with the shirt from last week today because instead I got inspired to make some kind of Halloween headpiece. I've always wanted to make one of those like big halo crown deer antler headpiece thingies. And so um, this was a good opportunity to make one sort of on the cheap, maybe not with the best materials, you know, just to sort of get a feel for how it works. So that's what I'm going to try to do today. I've got um, a head with a, a headband on it. I've got a bunch of skewers that I'm going to be attaching. Uh, I tried spray painting these up front because I figured that would be maybe better. But uh, just the, um, like the wind of the, the spray paint blowing against it made them roll around. So it's very uneven and I think I'm just going to have to Attach them like this and then paint it again. This, this is not going to work. Hey, welcome Sewing Hub. Hi from the Netherlands. Um, so this is going to be the main sort of frame for that whole spider web thingy that I've got in the sketch. The sketch is not definitive. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the skull thing or exactly how things are going to be laid out, but I'm going to do something like this at least. I'm, I'm sure on the spider web, I'm sure on the color scheme and everything else is still up for, uh, up for debate. Favorite headpieces to make with bamboo scooters? Oh yeah, it's, it's such a cheap material as well. So it's, it's a great like first project, I think. I also got some other garbage that I'm going to use up. I went on a shopping spree yesterday to buy some cheap Halloween junk to make this. Uh, I've got these uh, berry thingies, they came with leaves on them as well. I spray painted these black-ish, like there's still some of the original color showing through, which I think is kind of cute, but I made them a lot darker than they were, and the same goes for the leaves. This cost me like less than a euro. Uh, and then I've also got these earrings, which are just perfect. I've got these little spider earrings that have rhinestones in the body. It's just about the right size, it's sturdy, it's shiny, and the pair costs like two euros, so I'm cool with that. I've also got this pack of cheapo rhinestones that I'm gonna stick on and see how well they hold up. But it's the kind of thing that, you know, you're wearing on your head, it doesn't really do wear and tear. So if it looks good about five times on my head, I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, and then, oh yeah, I was looking for black uh, hot glue. I know it exists and I figured it would make it so that if I pre-painted everything, I could just hot glue it and be done. Uh, I didn't find that. I did find glitter hot glue sticks. Uh, I didn't even know it existed, but I've got this pack in all kinds of colors. I'm not sure I'm going to use it for this project, but I think it's, I, I couldn't not buy it. It's too cool. Um, and then I've got a whole bunch of beads and other things. I've made a, a pre-selection of some beads because I think that the um, sort of the spider web threads, I wanted them to be chains initially, but I couldn't buy small black chains on short enough notice that I was going to have them for the stream, so instead it's going to be strings of beads. Uh, and that also allows me to put like little different colors in there, so I've got mostly black with some purple, some larger, I've got these little amethyst, whoops, these amethyst beads that I still found in my stash, so I'm just going to make something uh, that for the spider webs. And then I've also got just some cabochons that I had like partially from the moon brooch thing. These are glow in the dark. Maybe I'll use those for something. I'm not really sure. Uh, and a purple one as well. I am considering doing the skull with um, with like red glowing eyes or something if I end up doing it. So that might run into some LED soldering things. But I feel that the scope of the project is already getting too big with what I've currently got, so... Uh, let's just get started and see how far we get. I want to at least do the whole spiderweb thing, and then if I've got time I'll do the skull. 
it should be something that I can also just add in at the end uh, or just glue it on top of what I made if I need to. So if I don't finish the skull today, too bad. Um, I've seen several ways of gluing the skewers to the headband. I've seen people just put a dot of hot glue and smush it in and it seems all right-ish, but it feels kind of insecure. So what I'm gonna do is make a little craft foam sort of uh, band for that to stick to. I'm just gonna cut, let's see actually how far it needs to stretch to go on my head. Not that much. So let's, let's try to trace that. I'm not sure how to hold that. Okay, have I got something? Hey, I can do this. Uh, tracing on black is always a bit interesting, isn't it? I've, I've got a chalk pencil that might work. Hey, welcome back. Good to see you all back on the stream. So here's the shape. I think that's it's not a great marking, but it's good enough for me to see. Let's also see how far down the sides that needs to go, because I don't... There's a part that goes through behind my ear, and I need there to not be skewers there. So this is the lowest point. This one here and there. This is this is not chalking very chalk, but uh, I'll just cut this out and uh, it probably needs to be a bit. Nah, I think it's a good width. Nah, I'll take it. So I'm just gonna hot glue that to the headband so that I've got a little bit more surface area to glue the skewers to. Speaking of hot glue, I should probably start heating that up. <laughs> oh yeah, the sketch, the face of the sketch is, uh, yeah, I just, uh, I just needed a head to draw a headpiece onto and I wasn't terribly concerned with the expression, but yeah, it looks a bit, uh, a bit, like maybe something's wrong. Could have probably changed up the mouth a couple of times until it looked a little bit less concerned. And also maybe get rid of the double chin, but eh. That seems like a good enough strip. Let's get the hot glue gun out. Where did I put it? All right. This is just really simple, really cheap hot glue gun. Let's plug it in. stretch to reach over here. I'm gonna just change a couple of... There we go. All right, uh, I see someone hold it open by putting it on one of those pressing hams. And I think that was pretty smart. Uh, I think that's a bit bigger than my head. Try the other side. Is this about right? Yeah, I think that's about right. Let's see if this still works. Why is there... There's little bits of tape that I put in here last time I used it, apparently. Maybe because it wasn't pushing it forward enough? I don't know. It's 
not particularly warm yet. So what are you guys' um, guys' and gals' Halloween plans? Are you making anything for it? I think I'm gonna need to cut these down, so Let's see how well this I think this is kind of a crappy one. Let's ruin that one first. Hmm, that works reasonably well. Get some extra glue on standby. Um, so let's, while this is heating up, is it? Not quite so hot yet. Let's figure out the length of these. What is like a good length to go up over my head? <laughs> uh, that's a bit short. Something like that. Yes. You're gonna make a costume? Oh, you're not really gonna make a costume. Yeah, I 100% I support the idea of every day's Halloween, so if you make some magical spooky things for every day, like, power to that. I'm gonna go for this length, I think. That, how does that... I'm just gonna cut this one and... Oh, this is not going as great as I thought it was gonna go. It's now just like splintering and separating the bamboo. But, uh... I need something better. <laughs> this is the step already. God. Okay. Uh, but having this on my head. It's quite tall, actually. It might be a bit much. How much space do I need to do the spiderweb thing? Got a line here, a line there. I think it, I don't know. I think it's okay. Let's just go for it, who cares. Um, where is my badass cutters? Let's try with these. I think I'm gonna make them all the same length. Or is it gonna be too wide? Off the side of my head. That is a bit wide. Maybe make them a bit smaller towards the sides. That went well. And the other piece around will look nice? Yeah, I hope so. So let's cut three at this length and then go a little bit shorter. Oh, now I'll have to keep them in order as well. Use a knife? Uh, yeah, could be. I have to say though, these uh, these cutters are also doing a pretty good job at just snipping the whole thing off without smushing it together too much. So those go on the outside of that. How many sticks do I want, even? Let's make two more of the same length. How much do I have on my sketch? My sketch looks kind of reasonable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven. It's not even symmetrical, right? I've got <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, five on one side and four on the other. Ah, who cares? I'll go for eleven. That seems like a reasonable number. So 
So that's the four shorter ones, right? Yes. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll go for at least two more. Maybe a bit shorter than the ones before. I think this is... Oh yeah, I can sort of feel it glowing now without touching it, so... That's getting there. This will be the length that goes on the side of my head. Ah, uh, this one split pretty bad. Well, uh, I've got spares. I painted a few more than I thought I was going to need so I could ruin them. Always nice to have backups. Okay. So in theory, this is it. I'm going to start by gluing the... Ooh, it's even dripping on the table. That's good. Start by gluing this to the... Um, to the headband. Um, let's make sure I've got it centered, actually. Let's mark the middle of this. I'm gonna put a little fold in it, I can probably see that. Yeah. I don't know. Ruin it a little bit. And then the center of this is... right. Right there. All right, let's do this. This is just gently dripping onto the table, so <laughs> seems to have melted. Stir it with a little bit just to get it into its in the right spot. And then I'll do the rest. Let's get this out of the way. <laughs> Actually, maybe I don't need to spray paint the, the hot glue after all, and maybe wanting to have black hot glue is a bit unnecessary. I can probably just uh, cover all of this with the leaves and the flowers and stuff, and probably fine. Yeah, this is holding up pretty nicely, actually. Okay. Let's try this side. I think, because I've, I've only got the berries and the leaves, which might not be enough to cover the whole base of the thing. I'm thinking I can make some flowers out of just some scrap fabric. Just take a strip of fabric, fold it in half, and gather the edge until it sort of curls up into a rose vaguely-ish shape. That wasn't a sentence, but you know what I mean. seems to have stuck well. Let's 
So if this is the thing we're working with, where are we going to put the skewers? going to be something like... Let's try to get them symmetrical and then mark it out or something. Still got some. That's a bit uneven. He needs to get. Oh, wait, this is not even centered. Wow. We put it like. Oh, that looks fairly good. Hmm. Oh, actually, the top needs to be closer together. That looks really wide. I think maybe I need to add additional sticks. Yeah, right? I need like one more, just one more stick on each side and then... I think, th yeah. Let's cut two more sticks. I think I got exactly two left, so that's good. I'll just make them the same length as this one. Oops. Try not to hurt yourself, kids. Don't try this at home. I don't know. I would encourage people to do this at home, but maybe not be as clumsy as I am. So, it should be something like this, then. I'll try to do an, a neater job of laying them down perpendicular to the headband when I actually glue them, but this looks pretty reasonable. Yeah, I think it's better. Alright. And I think once you... Um, the <laughs> once I put it on my head, it'll go like this a bit, which will push the ones at the top closer together, and I think it'll sort of check out then. So let's go for it. I still got the part where I marked the center. Uh, mm, if I, hmm, I'm not gluing them lying on top of here and then lying on the table, which causes them to angle backwards a little bit. And I think that actually that's not bad, maybe? But... I don't know. Maybe totally perpendicular is better. I think I'm gonna try to get them sticking up exactly straight. So I'll, I'll put some, I don't know, support material here. Just... Try to get them to rest on this or something. Yeah, do it like that. I think that looks like a pretty decent distance. And if it's not exactly symmetrical, I think we can get away with that by arguing that that's just the way the spider did it. So, I'm not terribly worried about getting it wrong. <sighs> um, so now I've run out of space on my cutters. <laughs> uh, I also got, let's see, a roll of tape that's about the same height. And 
Not as higher, actually. I've got... Or maybe if this is old enough that I can remove it. Uh, not really. What else have I got? I've got more handles and things. It's also a bit too high, actually. Okay, fine. I think I've waited long enough that I can just safely remove these. Alright. Do one side and then the other. <laughs> oh yeah, the hot glue strands. They're, yeah, they're just cobwebs, you know. That's, uh, that's also on brand. All of the things that are irregular about this whole project, it's just because the spider, you know? It's nature, you can't do anything about it. So. Now I'm gonna try not to get like cobweb strands of hot glue all over everything, but I'm not gonna be too bothered if it happens. I'm not good at doing this with my left hand, obviously. Something like that, I think it's pretty reasonable. It is hot glue strands all over the place. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna move it. I'm gonna wait for it to, to cool down and dry and everything. And I'm gonna do the other side. And then I think I'm gonna just trim down the, the foam a little bit. Oh, this is a mess. It's melting all over itself. Let's see if I can clean that up and maybe also get less strands in general. The sticks on the table sound like nails. What do you mean the sticks on the table? Like this? This is a piece of scrap fabric from the floor. Let's see if I can do this without burning my fingers. There we go. Okay, I think it's cooled enough that I can take this off. Yeah. Now let's try the other side. Oops. I can already tell it's not quite symmetrical, but it'll be close enough. Something. Yeah. That sound in the Pintuck mock-up. I'm not really sure how that ends up sounding like nails. Um, let's see if this is... Oh no, this is way too high. 
if I can move it down a little bit. Yeah, this is not coming out quite symmetrical. <laughs> I'm gonna have to glue this one a bit further down. Oop. Okay, that's it so far. So while I wait for this to cool off, I think I'm gonna start uh, making the the bead things, like the, the strands of beads that are gonna be the actual cobweb. And once this is sort of cooled off, I try and get all these strands off and then do one more spray painting attempt. I think we're not gonna... Hmm. Maybe I should put a layer of hot glue on top of everything to make sure it's all secure. And then... Oh, ran out of glue. Hold up. Whoops. Too much glue now. There. Everything safe and secure. And then I can switch that off, I think. Boop. So I'm gonna just take this into the other room to spray paint it, because then I can open the window over there without getting cold in here and also not sit in the fumes. So Whoa, this is really wobbly. Why does it feel yeah. I'll also put an extra, maybe, the thing I said about the hot glue, I'm gonna put a little bit extra on the back as well, just to reinforce this thing. Okay. Now I'm going to take it into the other room and spray paint it. So I don't have to sit in the fumes and I can just open the window over there without getting cold in here. So I'm going to have to abandon you for a minute or so while I take my pen spray paint and my the thing that makes the floor not get spray painted. Sorry, the, no, the mock's not making any sound. Oh yeah, yeah. The, the fabric that I picked up off the floor was the, the pin tip mock-up I need. So I'm gonna just head out for a minute and spray paint this. And then I will be back. Do the beads. That's drying. So now let's get to the beading part of the thing. I've got my pre-mixed beads. I don't think this is going to be enough to do the whole length of all the strands. I'm thinking of putting at least two strands between each stick. So going around sort of like that is going to be uh, at least 60 centimeters. So this is not going to be enough, but I'll just mix more as I go along. And I realized that this would have been way less effort if I had just found a sort of thin black chain or something that I could put in between there. But hey, I didn't, so now I'm doing this. So 
So let's see if I can all shake them to one side and make it a little bit easier. I found that if you put them all in a huge pile and you just sort of run the needle through it like that, sometimes you pick them up. But eh, I'm gonna have to be more precise than that, I guess. But I'm gonna try to make it somewhat random. So I've just got them mixed together and I'll just pick up whatever's in front of the needle. No real pattern to it. I did some tests beforehand to make sure that the um, the wire that I'm stringing these beads onto actually bends properly under the weight of the beads. Because this is kind of stiff-ish fishing line, and I didn't want it to... like. How do I explain this? I want the cobweb threads to look like they're actually sort of sagging and not standing off in all directions. So I was thinking I might have to use regular sewing thread to get sort of the weight jiggle, but I tested it and this actually seems, it's not as drapey, but it, it does sort of naturally bend under the weight of the beads. So it's, it's approved for now. See, how much space should I leave between them for the big ones? Yeah, pretty quickly. I'm sort of dreading this, but it's not so bad. Ouch. In search of followers, primes, and views, <laughs> you bet I'm not bigfollows.com. Wow. The nerve. Also, cheers from Jack Skellington, who also approves of Halloween. Your neighbor has been mad at his wife for a sunbathing nude. Oh, it's a joke! I get it! I get it! You're on the fence! Also, does that mean you're in the southern hemisphere? Because it seems to be kind of cool to be sunbathing nude these days. What am I cooking? Is this another joke that I'm missing where something is small or something? Or is it <laughs> or is it a legitimate question? I would be confused at this stage. I 
It's legit. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm cooking uh, a Halloween headdress, as you can see in the sketch. Uh, but the whole headband thing has just gotten spray painted and is drying right now. So I'm making a strand of beads that's going to be the cobweb things. So I've got a headband with sticks on it, and I'm just making the thing that goes in between the sticks. And I'm making it with a mix of a bunch of black and purple beads and some silver. And yeah, it's a lot of work, but I couldn't find a good alternative. And I think it'll look neat in the end. So, let's hope for the best. I do have to say, this is like, what, 15 centimeters of stuff, and it took me quite a bit. Uh, we'll see how this goes. This is not even a bead, this is so misshapen. So, now that it's October and Halloween season has properly begun, I've mostly been just um, running the Nightmare Before Christmas soundtrack while singing along to all the songs behind my chair, behind my computer. But, uh, what are your, like, Halloween rituals, habits, celebrations? There's little things about Halloween. I know a lot of people are into pumpkin spice lattes or something, but not into the whole coffee thing and not into pumpkin either, so. That is not really my jam. Decorating a Halloween tree? <laughs> That is awesome. Do you have a Halloween tree like a Christmas tree? Oh god. What kind of tree did Axl Rose use? Hmm. I'm not really seeing an obvious Guns N' Roses joke in here. Maybe something with the lyrics. All right, tell me, what kind of tree did Axl Rose use? What do you mean, it's not a joke? My eyebrow, it is raised. So, can I Google Axel's Halloween tree? Okay, I can. I'm gonna humor you on this one. Let's see. Here we go. <laughs> All right, that's... That's pretty decent. Uh, it looks like a, not a tree at all. 
Like, I'm not even sure what's holding that up. Probably pure witchcraft or something. Oops. this not long enough. Okay, this was maybe a mistake. This has taken forever. So what tree are you using for your Halloween tree? Since Axel Rose didn't seem to be using a tree at all. your neighbors that bush sure you can also just uh like at the end of the year save your christmas tree and then by next year halloween all the everything will have fallen off like it'll look like a totally dead thing even sort of spray paint it black if you wanted to maybe break a couple of branches what video games do i play uh, I don't know, mostly Minecraft these days. But I don't stream any of that, it's just, uh... Just me doing things. Oh, maybe I just started a new, a new project in Minecraft. Uh, I plan to make some kind of, uh... Fireworks show for the end of the year for the server that I play on and I, I made one before which was like a huge redstone contraption where the fireworks were synchronized to a music disc and it was pretty epic so I want to do something like that again so a lot of effort goes into syncing up the fireworks with the music so I figured I'd start early So that's what I've been doing in video game land. It's 
So what do you play? Ooh, doo -doo -doo. This is... I think it's time for another one of the big beads. Have I seen this? The light show after he turns ray tracing. Ah, I have seen some of the ray tracing videos. I'm not sure I've seen that one. Uh, but it looks pretty epic. One to ten seconds. Sure. Wow. It's just like real oh life, man. The house. I'll put it back a bit. Nah. I have not seen that video, and I'm not gonna watch it now, because I'm kind of doing something. But yeah, I'm not gonna have ray tracing fireworks. Uh, we're not that advanced. Why does this look so off-center? This beat a bit lopsided? Ah, we're good. Do I know any good horror games? Not really. It's not really my genre for whatever reason. I like to- like, I play just about every game like it's Harvest Moon. Uh, and I haven't actually played Harvest Moon. Uh, I just walk around, farm some things, get some value. Walk around some more, farm some more things. Like half of my time in Minecraft is spent walking around my village and trading with the villagers and things. What do you mean you forgot to play? Like you bought it and then you didn't? Or or what? Getting up to some amount of length now. It's, it's turning into something. Well, I'm gonna have to restock on beads for a sec. I mean, buying something and then not playing it is just how Steam works, right? You just buy it on sale and then never play it. I think like 80% of Steam libraries have not even gotten installed. Some more beads in here. Um, some of the purple ones. Seems like a good mix. I do think the beads are gonna look pretty pretty good on this. And I almost wish that I'd done a more professional job on the rest of the headdress. Because I feel like what I'm doing here with the beads is way too premium. Or for the rest of what I'm doing here with my cheapo flowers and things. I love Harvest Moon, started playing Sims 4 and Aura Kingdom. I haven't played Sims in years, but that game is my childhood though. Like original Sims with a bunch of expansions was just the only thing I would do on the computer. That was back when, you know, there was one computer per household and you had to share with your siblings. And if we had a weekend without the parents at home, the first thing we would do is divide up the computer time and use most of it to play The Sims.
The magic expansion pack? Oh yeah. They have to keep swans my palm but they keep disappearing. <laughs> I'm not really sure how you keep the vid, but maybe I haven't played Sims for long enough. I also really like the, the hot date expansion, because you could like make and break relationships. Like the best thing was just build up a relationship, then do something outrageous, then build up a relationship with someone else, then do something outrageous. That was pretty fun. The good old days. Try putting a fence around the pond. I like that this is now turned into The Sims Advice. I, I guess it's not as easy as, uh... Oh no, the pond probably doesn't have, uh... The ladder to get out. <laughs> Try to add her to my family. Aww. That's too bad. Um, should I put some more big beads here? Yeah, I think I should. How long have I spent on this now? Oh, we're just an, we're only an hour in. This is not so bad. That's I I I kind of thought I was already halfway through and I'd not even started assembling anything meaningful, but that's really that's not awful. still feel that the beads are a bit much for what I'm doing. But hey, if I end up hating the headdress, I can just take the beads off and reuse them for something else. They'll be all mixed together, which is going to be a little bit annoying, but they're not gone. It's a good thing about beads. I'm trying not to evenly space the large beads too much because that looks way too organized for what the uh, what the spider would have done. It needs to look a little bit asymmetrical and weird. I know that spiders don't make webs out of beads, but, you know. At least try to get that aspect. Let's see. I think we're getting somewhere. Hello, Lord Triax, and welcome to the stream. What do we got here? Got... I think this might be long enough to go at least once around the thing. That means I need to make close to twice as much <laughs> to get somewhere, really. Uh, well. Actually, probably the um, the sticks will have dried by now, so I'm gonna just get them over here so I can look at 
what lengths I've got and what length I need. Okay, we have a stick thing that I think has spray painted reasonably well. Still a bit splotchy, but you can really only tell if you're up close enough that probably no one's gonna get that close. Like, if, if you're looking at my headdress like this, you should probably get out of my personal space. So, I'm fine with that. Yep. Get rid of some more of the hot glue threads. Now let's trim these corners. Ah, uh, oh yeah, that's a good point actually. I can make individual strands. Uh, so the plan is that I also, I don't want the strands to be like perfectly evenly connected. I think you can see on the sketch that some sticks have two between them and some have three. I'm trying to get it a little bit irregular. So the plan is that I'm just leaving this all on a big length of string and I'm gonna start by attaching it to one of the sticks, then moving on to the next stick sort of separating the beads, wrapping the thread around a couple times, and gluing that in place. And then maybe wrapping it up a bit or down a bit to move on to the next one. I think that's a reasonable way to do it. It's just that, how do I do this without running out of thread on either end? Probably just gonna get a long enough length of thread that I don't have to worry about it. They would go around like this, like that, like that. That over there, go down, go back. Like this, like that. Add a little bit extra for good measure. I think that should be a good length. So now I can just uh, start by attaching one end of the thread to the spikes and then moving all the beads along as needed. So let's do that. Um, see if I can just sort of tie it around there to make a start. Maybe I can even do a double knot so it stays. I don't... I need some tweezers for this. My fingers are not small enough. Add that through. Oh god. This is impossible! Okay, screw that. Let's see if a little bit of dab of super glue on it is gonna keep it in place. Or I should just... Nah, I should probably just get a longer... longer end so I can actually do the double knot. Hold on. Because I want this to be secure because if that thing comes loose, there'll be beads all over everywhere. Okay. So, tying a knot around the first spike. I'm probably gonna reinforce it with some super glue, because I want to cut the end fairly short. And I don't want it to unravel when I do.
And then we shove enough beads over there to make a nice strand. And a little bit of a curve. I think we stop about here. Separate it out from the rest. And then wrap this thread around the spike. Around the next spike. Like, I think that works. I don't think I can... Well, theoretically I can tie a knot here, actually, if I take the whole thing through. Um... Let's try that. If I've got... A loop here. And I take everything. Nah, no, that's a nightmare. That's just a nightmare. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna super glue it through that. So. Try to keep it a little bit loose so it dangles a bit. Let's see how well that works. And if it doesn't, I'll come up with something else. It seems to stick pretty well, though. It's already getting hard to move, so... Oh yeah, this is working just fine. I like this system, we got something. So now I'm going to just wrap it upwards a little bit and do the next strand a bit higher. I'm also going to glue that. Um, I'll glue it later. More beads. Go in to about there. It's back. And then wrap this around like three times. Ooh! I like how this is coming together. Start by super gluing the other end. This is a bit stuck on the bead. Hold up. Now the only issue is if I like if I want to go up, I can just go down a little, like, just wrap it up a little bit, and it's very easy to do around the, the end. If I want to go down, I have to shove the whole thing through. That's going to be a little bit annoying, but we'll get there when we get there. For the next strand, I'm just going to continue it straight from this one. So let's get some more beads in here. I don't like how all the large beads are ending up right next to the sticks. It doesn't... I want them to be more in the middle. I guess I... I guess I should have just started by doing this and then adding the beads as I go along. But I didn't, and now this is it. Too bad. Should have thought of that earlier. Let's 
super glue seems to be doing its job nicely though. And if one of the super glue things fails, it's not that big a deal. Because at least it's still wrapped around the stick and in one continuous piece, so it's not gonna fall off, it's just gonna move a little bit. I should be able to stick it back in place when I have time, so... Seems to be a good system. Maybe this one should move down a little bit, or continue one more. I'll continue one more, and then I'll move down a bit. not as jiggly as a previous one. I'm gonna add a couple beads back in. More super glue! Let's go! Tighten it up a little bit. Good thing I've got long nails. It's less likely that I'm going to get my finger stuck. <laughs> Bit too much glue there. I'm gonna give that a couple more seconds to dry, and then I'm gonna see if I can pull the whole strand through this hole so I can move the, um, the start of the next strand down a little bit. Okay. So let's try to do this in an organized fashion. <laughs> Got... Step one is we go this way. I'm going to lead with the needle and just pull everything through after that. Uh oh, I got some glue on my fingers. I'm getting stuck on things. Let's move the beads along. They're not too stuck. I got it. So now I'm just gonna glue this in place. Okay, I am getting super glue on my fingers now. That was... I should have let that dry a bit longer.
And I should have wrapped this in the other direction, because all the other strands are sort of starting from the top. This one is now starting from the bottom. And it looks kind of weird. And not balanced. This is a bit, still a bit too long. All right, Let's see how it looks when I hold it, when gravity is doing its thing. Oh god. Gravity is not doing its thing as I wanted it to. You know how I was talking about whether the beads would hang down the way that real cobwebs would? Yeah, they're not really doing it. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure you can tell. I just had to Basically, it'll happily stand up like that um, and then poke it down. That's too bad. But I guess I can poke them down once and then they'll stay that way, at least, for a bit. That's too bad. Oh well. I'll use different thread next time, if there is a next time. More super glue. This strand is trying to wrap its way all the way behind the stick because that's how I wrapped it. I think I'm gonna have to put a little extra glue on the back to keep it there. That's after this dries. Okay, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try not to rush it. That could change when you come back around the sticks might get pulled closer together. Maybe? Oh yeah, because if I put it on my head, they'll go a bit like that. <laughs> no, it's just standing out in weird ways now. It, 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 it just makes it worse. <laughs> Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Especially that one. Hates me. And this one seems to be short a bead. At this stage. Uh. Alright, uh, this one specifically is wrapping around the back really weird, so I'm gonna go back in and glue that down a bit better. But it was a nice theory! It was, uh, it was good thinking. It was too bad. I feel like this actually has got one bead too many on it. I, th I guess I could, like, cut the bead in half to get it off. Let's see, this is probably... Like, use safety goggles if you're gonna do this so you don't get, like, bits of glass in your in your face. But I'm just gonna, like, look away and squeeze. Yep, that bead is gone. And now it fits a lot better. Put some glue on there. Please dry. Please dry faster. Yes. Oh well, when I put it on, I'll just have to, um, like, arrange them in a pleasing manner once, and then it'll probably stay that way. I could deal with that. I think if 
I want to do the thing where one has more strands than the other, I would, like, if I go once this way, once back, then I'd have to make my way all the way back to, to somewhere where I want to put extra. But if I go one way, then go back through the same beads, and then up the same stick, that makes it theoretically really easy to do two on one without like losing where you are. Seems like a thing I can do. Oh yeah, but for that you need to not have any additional beads on the end, because otherwise you can't go back through the other beads. So maybe I shouldn't have made this long strand quite yet. <laughs> well, we'll see, we'll see when I run out of strand and then see whether it's a convenient time to do that thing. I don't know. Oh well. Alright, next. So we go... I can't even see where I went down. Is it supposed to be here? I think it is. It's barely... It's crept back up the stick! What? No, I see like my glue residue here and the thing attached up there. What? What did I do? Damn. I must have like shifted it at some point accidentally. Oh well. It's a little bit uneven still. I'll take it. Alright. More beads! Go about there. There's a little bit too much glue coming out of the tube. Where are you doing that? Let's... Stop doing that. I'm not even squeezing it. Maybe it's just like heating up with my my hands or something. Oh yes, I need this to not be stuck like that. What? Stop. A little bit finicky to get it nice, you know? It's really easy to get it somewhere, but to get it to sit exactly the way you want it to is kind of tedious. to the next one. I also still need to figure out a way to attach the spider. I'm planning to put, well, at least one spider on this. I got these earrings and I just need to get the little chain thingy off and, uh, and then I can I guess just hot glue it onto one of the sticks or something. I just need to, because these are metal, I need to make sure that it's not too heavy and it's gonna like start to flop around on my head. Maybe I should put it closer to the edge. Ah. Or like closer to my head, sorry.
Just stay right there, don't move. Don't go anywhere, stay right there. You're perfect. Times like these are when I'm really glad that I have a glass table. So I can basically just super glue the stick to it and it'll just come right off. And the hot glue as well. It's like, boop. And honestly, it is one of the reasons that I bought a glass table. Easy cleanup. So it's being off right now, and I'm here for it. I kind of should I put it on my head to give it a try? <laughs> Let's see how we're going along. Uh, this is going to be a little bit awkward with the strand still hanging off the side, but let's see how we're doing. That looks not awful. Let's get my my hair in front of my ears, because that always looks a bit better. Put it on like... Yep, let's... I'm getting somewhere. At least it looks reasonably like a professional did it. <laughs> All right, I think this glue is dry enough now. I'm gonna do the next strand. Come on, play nice. Something like that. Wait, am I wrapping this differently every time or something? I'm fairly sure that if you start wrapping around the top, you come out on the top. So why is this coming in from the bottom? Doesn't make sense. How did I wrap this? How? What? Did I just fold it? Bleh. Did I just fold it back in a weird way and it the hot glue is keeping it? The, the glue is keeping it in place maybe? Ah, yeah. Okay, I screwed it up. It was all my fault. It all makes sense now. It's fine. Now let's glue this bit. Okay, I'm fairly sure that me trying to open this one-handed is what's making too much glue come out. Because that's where I'm squeezing it, of course. And I think that on the next one I'm going to try to go down a little bit again. I'm just gonna wait for that to dry. Supposedly this stuff is dry in five seconds, but that's a lie. How long does it say? Oh, it doesn't even say. Okay, 
So now let's try not to screw it up like last time. If I go through the gap, oh, I'm not tying knots into my strand, I think. Hold up. I've got to go around and then through the through the back. No, no, the beads are getting stuck in the glue that's still not dry. Ah, uh, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Oh god, everything is stuck to everything. One more time. Okay, I think I managed. Now let's glue it in place down there. And once again, let it dry. Hmm. This is not enough beads, is it? A few more down there. Or maybe it is enough beads, and I should just go lower. Hey, we nearly made it to the last uh, stick there, so that's round one of two and a half with the beads. I feel like we're getting somewhere. It is now 4.30. It's also not... I thought it was maybe 5 already, so story of this thing is... For once it's going better than expected. <laughs> and I might actually finish something here. I mean, definitely not the skull. I might finish the... the cobweb and put all the sequins and, and leaves and things on. I'm gonna finish something. I'm slowly covering up my fingers with super glue. Probably not great for your skin. It just needs to dry faster, that's the uh... It's not my fault, the glue just needs to dry faster. And wrap that around twice. I'm gonna wrap it around twice first and just secure it in place, and then do some more wrapping to get it further out to the side. To go back this way around and add more strands.
And I feel that now that I've completed this layer, I feel like I might have done them a little bit too close to the headband. I'm going to put leaves and stuff here, and it's going to be a little bit covered up maybe. Could have moved everything out a bit. But it's a bit late for that now, isn't it? That's too bad. Like, if I put leaves and crap here, I'm going to partially cover up what I've got. Meh. Meh. I guess the, the solution is making yet even more strands, but that's uh, definitely not going to happen. Do that. I don't know. I cut a couple of these. I put that in there. Yeah! I should have definitely put everything higher up, but I didn't. Now I have to live with it. All right, now um, I've got quite a bit of strand left, actually. More than I expected. So I'm going to wrap it around the stick a couple more times to go sort of halfway to the end, I guess. And then wrap it in place twice and glue it down there. Let's see how far I can make it with the strand I've got right now. Oh, this super glue is taking forever to dry. I just put my like my hand down here somewhere and it's still sticky. What the Yeah. The the you know the thing. What if I put something like this? Okay, definitely gonna need quite a bit more. Let's just, while the glue dries, get to that and put a couple more beads on here. Uh, whoops. Stop being stuck. Oh god, now I've glued my sleeve. <laughs> Stop! Just wow. I was trying to put one of the silver bees on, right? Yeah. Do -do -do. I'm getting kind of hungry and it's not even close to dinner time. Anyone got any ideas for dinner? I'm still a bit up in the air about it. I've got some stuff in the fridge. Most notably a bell pepper and two eggs that I'm maybe trying to incorporate into something. But I'm also open to entirely unrelated ideas. Maybe I can actually make that into some kind of 
quiche thing. I think I got some dough in the freezer. Welcome to Lazy Cooking with Anik. Um, I kind of don't want to put another large purple bead here because it's so close to this one that's already there. And I want, I want, actually maybe that's, that's more true random, isn't it? If, if there's another one there. Yeah, sure. Let's put two of them real close together. And since I'd already beat it past the point where I can do that sort of trace backy thingy to do the, the three strands on one stick, I'm gonna just have to do those separately. It'll be fine, I'll tie some ends, it'll be cool. So I think this is dried enough now that I can start doing the rest. And I just realized that I screwed up the wrapping here once more and it's now coming out of the bottom. It shouldn't. But, eh. I'll just add more glue on the back or something at some point. Okie dokie. More glue! More! Gluing my fingers together. Be a bit too long. Something like that. Is that gonna go closer together when I wear it? Yeah. Okay, maybe a little bit shorter still. That is a good length. Whoops. Oh! That is a good length. Let's do it. Hello, Sandy! Welcome to the stream. I'm mostly just yelling at beads and super glue at the moment. Trying to put strands of beads on my thing. It's honestly going all right. It's not as bad as that. It could have could have been. So let's get. Should I move this up a little bit? Because this is also moved up a little bit. I probably should. I think like the spider would have done that, right? Somewhere like up there. Let's glue that.
So let's figure out while this dries what I'm going to do with the, um, the spider earrings. I'm just going to cut the jump ring off so that I'm left with just a spider charm. <clears throat> I'm going to just <clears throat> cut the jump ring off. Hello, yes. There we go. So, got myself a spider. With, uh, maybe I'll also cut the, the like he's got sort of a, a ring on his head. Looks a bit weird. Maybe I'll cut that off too. Not sure. I've got two of them, so I can ruin one. Always nice when you've got space to ruin something. Um, where are the big cutters now? Like seriously. Oh. Let's see. That comes off pretty easily. And then maybe I'll like glue a rhinestone on his face so it doesn't look so cut off. <laughs> this is becoming pretty gnarly. These, these little things are not cutting at all. Alright. Let's file that down a little bit. Where is my file? Because, as you can see, I have now cut that ring that he had on his face off. Maybe I can just get all of this off. Ah, that'll do. But first, we must complete the web. Hmm, about this much. I'm thinking with all the length that I'm losing on wrapping this around the sticks, I should have maybe cut some extra wire, actually. Feels like I might be a bit short by the end. And then maybe... Now I'm gonna move up a little bit because then this can be up and then this will be a nice one to have three strands. I think that'll look nice. Let's wrap it a little bit higher and put some more glue on. So that when it's dry, we can continue from there.
wrap it around like all the previous ones. This is creeping up around the other side a little bit. That's not supposed to happen. Let's glue that. And then once that's dry, I'm gonna wrap the wire a little bit further down the stick and go somewhere over there. I think that would be nice. No, 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 don't get in the glue just yet. And let's see how much... How is that stuck there? That glue is not supposed to be sticky anymore. What? Anyway. I'm gonna need a bit more length. Let's get some more beads on there. I think I still want to do the skull that's on the front of the um, of the design, just that I definitely don't have time to do it today. And if I take a little bit more time, I could actually sculpt it and put some like red LEDs in his eyes or something like that. So maybe I should save that for our next stream. But I, I don't know. It's, I also just want to get it done. If I'm honest. So maybe not save it till next stream? Not quite sure. Alright, let's get this wrapped around here somewhere. I definitely don't have enough uh, string to get it wrapped around everything before we make it to the end of the, of the sticks. I'm using up more thread than I thought on the whole wrapping it around the stick thing. I guess that's how that happens. I will wrap it around this stick one more time before gluing it down. So much waiting for super glue to dry. Kind of frustrating, honestly. Even if it's a fast drying glue. <laughs> Maybe I should also just get going on gluing down some rhinestones. So that those can dry while the other stuff dries.
I think I want to end up sticking some of the smaller ones maybe onto the leaves for a little bit of extra sparkle in there. Let's see. These are supposedly... Are they... Are they adhesive? They are adhesive. Does it make sense as a dewdrop over there? Not really. Do I care? Nah. I'll take it. What else can we do with these? Let's say I were to stick one. Does that even make sense? Yeah, it does make sense because we've got the thicker beads in these strands and there's no reason that the sticks, which are theoretically also spider silk, wouldn't have dew drops and things on them. So I, I think that's reasonable. Let's put one there. I like it. This is the front. Oh yeah, it is the front. We're good. Everything's fine. This is dried reasonably, so let's also move on with that. There we go. Let's glue that. I'm trying to wrap it tight but not too tight, because if I pull too much on it, it it removes all the slack from the wire that I actually need for this to sort of drape nicely. I do notice that the super glue is uh, dissolving the the spray paint a little bit, so it's causing some not so pretty spots. I guess I can go back in with a sharpie or some black acrylic paint or something to touch that up. Also, I'm gonna have to scrape some super glue off the beads because that looks really ugly. The super glue sort of dries clear but if you've moved it around too much it dries with a, a little bit of a white texture so that's something that's going to need some fixing let's get some more rhinestones on there let's get one here Trying to center them. Otherwise it just looks weird, I think. Yeah, sparklies. Plus I got some black sequins still laying around that I could use for this, I guess. I wanna move this back up because otherwise it's too symmetrical with the previous layer. Let's do that. Oh, I'm already out of length on my wire. I might have to actually take some beads off to, to finish this. Hold on. I'm gonna take the needle off, that's one. Maybe tie a knot at the end, I don't know. If I need to take beads off, that would be bad. But I also don't want them to randomly fall off as I'm handling them. How do I do this? I'm definitely gonna have to take some off, right? At least those ones. Okay. At least now if they fall off, they fall off into the tray. Let's do that. 
down here. That's way too much glue. Come on, stop, stop, stop leaking glue. Stop. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. Oh, maybe I can also glue some um, some rhinestones in the center of these berry things. Do that. That look good. Like this. Huh. That's actually quite cute. That is not gonna stick well enough though, so let's throw some glue at it. Maybe I'll do different sizes than the other ones. Get some of the small ones in there. Please stick, please stick. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cute. Has this dried enough? Not really. <laughs> okay. Let's measure how many beads we need anyway. hang down neatly and don't move. And now no glue is coming out. What is this? There we go. All right, more rhinestones. Let's go. So this is the center front one. So maybe that should have a rhinestone all the way at the top. A big one. I'm not sure about these enormous ones. Oh yeah, that does look pretty good actually. Let's do it. Hello, please stick exactly in the center and level so it looks like a professional did it. Okay. That's pretty sweet. See if we can get the next one down. Uh oh, beads are coming off the end again. I feel like they don't need to at this stage. I can do this section and one more and then I'm gonna have to get some new thread. And that's fine.
wrap it around twice and tighten it up a little bit. And more super glue. I'm kind of sad that this year we don't get really any Halloween parties. Because, you know, the plague. Is this just empty? Is that why no glue is coming out? What the hell? Is this thing half full of air? You have no memory of why you left? Well, welcome back! You have missed me gluing my fingers together, I guess. Uh, also, it seems that I have run out of- oh, there's still some in there. Now it's a mess. This tube seems to have been- have some super glue in it and also some air. But, uh, I think I got a spare tube somewhere, so if I run out, I should be fine. And then I think I want the last strand to go a little bit lower. I'm gonna wait for this to dry a little bit. And these white super glue splotches all over my table, but I think they should. Yeah, they come off. Woo! Now I just gotta be careful of here, because I put the remaining glob of glue there. Let's try not to glue too many things together. So where would I put the spider? I don't want to put him all the way on the end of a stick. I'm already getting myself covered in super glue. Because I think it would just weigh it down and be super floppy. So maybe I want to put him more... a little bit... up here somewhere. I feel like that's a good position for him. Also similar to where I put him in the design, right? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's get Mr. Spidey. I hope that Spidey likes super glue. Let's see if he does. Did any glue actually get on there? Oh yeah. Let's see. I just hold him down like that long enough for it to dry. And if that doesn't work, I've got a tube of um, E6000 somewhere. But that stuff, like that stuff will glue anything, but it also dries very slowly. So I hope this works. Ooh, he seems to be stuck. Ta-da! I'm not gonna lift it up and vertical, like, in a way that it can fall off just yet, but... A spider is stuck to the thing. That's good. Now let's... just dry it. Eh, not quite. In the meantime, maybe I'll stick a couple of more of the small rhinestones on. Grab some super glue off the table. This is real classy stuff right here. Whoops. I feel like I got some super glue on my sleeve. But we'll see about that when it dries. I'm not gonna touch it and make it worse. This 
so where is my spare super glue then? throw this out unless I can still use the gunk that's oh, I can still use the gunk on the outside of the tube <laughs> let's do this so I wanted this to lower a little bit let's wrap this through twice at least I think at least one more time to get it nicely wrapped in place. All right, let's glue it down. Oh, yeah, there's there is still some glue in there. Pretty good. Sleeve? Sleeve? What sleeve? Am I, am I getting stuff on my sleeve again? <laughs> Whoops. Mm, maybe I can actually- I can do two more, I think, if the length of the, um, of the string will hold. Let's carefully wrap that. So I think this is a good amount of beads for that one. Everything else out of the way. Come on, I need. A, I'm trying to get a little bit of tension, but not too much tension on the string, so it stays neatly wrapped around the stick, but doesn't pull the beads all out of like the slack that they need to hang down nicely. A little bit frustrating. So let's see if I can do the last one as well, with the tiny bit of string that I've got left. I think I should be able to wrap that around twice and then... I don't think I'll be able to tie a knot though. That's a bit sad, but... Get these beads off, because I don't need them. No, not again. I typed it from last time. Uh, typed from last time. Typed from last time. Oh, from the last time I got my sleeve stuck in the thing. I I must have not been paying attention. Sorry about that. I'm just gonna wrap this around as many times as I can. Maybe hold it with the tweezers I had earlier. Okay. 
No, that's awful. It's much better with my fingers. Can't even tell if glue's going up. Oh yeah, we've got some. Got some glue. We're all good. And now, while that dries, I'm gonna start on the next strand, I guess, because I still got this section to do, and I want to put at least one extra strand here, maybe here or there, somewhere where there's a lot of space left until the end of the stick, just to make it look a bit nicer. So, where is my thread? Here we go. So I need this much, and then that much, and then that much, and then a bunch extra, because I don't want to run out again. And then a little bit extra, because I'll have to tie a couple of knots. <laughs> that should be a generous amount. just move that a bit and this shouldn't take that long because I think I did the um, the first strand in a reasonable time frame as well um so definitely gonna put some here but only one gonna put a third one there gonna let's see if I put another purple bead Um, there would be nice, I guess. So something goes here, something goes there, something goes there, something goes here. That seems reasonable. Actually, let's put the purple bead there. I think it would be nice. I think I got one or two more of these if I need to. And maybe actually now I shouldn't just put a bunch of beads and hope for the best. I think I should measure it exactly to the section I'm doing so I can like tie knots and things. without having the beads from everything else flying everywhere. So, is this long enough? It is not quite long enough. Actually, I don't want the silver bead here. There's already too many silver beads near here. Take that off. This is a stage where I can't thread the needle again, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay, yes, please. Okay. So, more beads, but not silver ones. So, is this long enough? I think that is long enough. Maybe just two, three more beads. Hmm. 
Yeah, that's good. I'm gonna try to tie it in a way that the end that's sticking out is not sticking out in a weird angle or anything, so I can cut it off without it looking like a thing that's on the stick. Basically make it as smooth as possible. So I'm gonna try to align, geez, I'm still getting stuck in glue. Try to align the knot in the direction of the stick so that I can glue it down as flat as possible. Is this where it should go? Oh God, everything is getting, no. No! More scraps. Now there's glue all over the string. I think. And my hair is suspiciously sticking to my sleeve. <clears throat> I know what I'm doing. I've got hand-eye coordination. This, this seems good. Maybe down a little bit. Super glue the knot. Move it down a little bit. I still can. I can't. Okay, that's fine too. And then let's see if I can tie another knot around this side. And the needle should actually help me here. I can go through. off the stick. And then let's just tie another knot around the stick and that should do it. Okay, okay, okay. I've definitely got glue on my sleeve. <laughs> oh well. It'll come out, maybe. Looks like I've also got something else, like some yellow paint or something on there. This is not my fanciest jacket. It's all fine. <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna just cut this off with a little bit of edge on it that I'm edge like extra end that I'm gonna cut off later when the glue is properly dry. Because then in the meanwhile hello please cut what the how is it so difficult to cut this stuff? There we go. Now let's make a strand that's gonna go here. I feel like I want some kind of big bead in there. Maybe one of the bigger black ones.
So what do you think? I'm definitely gonna make the skull. I'm just not sure whether that should be the next stream. Like sculpting the skull and maybe putting some LEDs in the eyes or something. The, the other alternative is I guess that I should really finish that Pintuck shirt. Because I still haven't. I also technically haven't finished my waistcoat either. Still struggling to get the collar folded over properly, but um... It's one of those two things, or making the skull. So what would you like to see next week? Let's see, this is too much. Too much stuff. That's good. Let's tie in knots. So next week could be skull, shirt, or I guess buttonholes on the on the waistcoat, but that would not be the most entertaining thing in the world, so. Tying these knots is hard. This string is really ringy. And if no one has any opinions on what next week should be, then I'll just figure it out throughout the course of next week. Maybe I'll get inspired by something and come up with a totally random other idea as well. Wait, that that made the knot worse and not better. What the hell? I think that's a reasonable spot for that thread to be. Let's glue that up. Honestly, when a bunch of air came out of that tube, I thought I was pretty much out of glue, but there's more in there than I thought. But that's... Nice surprise. Let's cut it with these. Arr. There, in one go. Oh, 
All right, a strand for here, which might... I think I might want to put another one of those big purple beads there. I got... I got a couple more. quite close to one end and the purple bead close to the other end. Boop, 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 boop. This would have been so much faster if I just had a chain or some other drapey thing. But at the same time, I really like the, the look of the different beads. Good for the color scheme. Now let's put, let's see how far along are we? I think that's probably enough. Yeah. Put that there. More super glue right there. Uh oh, did I get disconnected? Uh oh. Am I still there? YouTube says I'm still there, but I'm not sure that OBS is sure that I'm still there. Hello? <laughs> I think it's just a chat that disconnected for a little bit, but uh, I think I'm still live. That's nice. Okay, um, so let's get this wrapped around here. What? How is this untying itself? Stop, stop, stop. I just need that to wrap around there and go through and not go off the edge of the stick, please. Oh god. Seems like I'm somehow feeling it tying a knot, but I'm not sure if it's just 
the thread escaping off the stick on me all the time or what is this all right i've got a knot And one more knot to make it secure. See, that looks pretty sweet. No, 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 no. Stay there. I wasn't, I wasn't trying to pull you away from the stick. Stay there. Stay there. And then I think I'm going to do one more over here. And that'll be it. That'll be it for the beads, at least. Then... I just need to get a get my hot glue gun back on and put my flowers and shit over there. Time to now. Okay, now suddenly time went very quickly and it feels like I haven't accomplished much in the past hour. It was going so well before. Oh yeah, maybe I should have put some beads on that first before I glued it down. Whoops. That's gonna be slightly inconvenient. I think that I might not have enough uh, to cover the entire edge of the headband with just the leaves and the, the berries that I've got, so I might need to make some extra flowers or something. I think I might have some organza in a purple shade that's really similar to the shade of the um the rhinestones. So maybe I'll go for that. To make some flowers out of. Just almost enough. It's not actually a bit too much. Yeah, it is a bit too much. Big. 
another two off. Now let's take another two off. Do, do, do. Of course you overslept. Well, I mean, you're saying it yourself. Of course you overslept. But hi, welcome to the stream. Um, I think I'm going to be here for a while because I just figured out that I'm going to have to make some custom flowers that I'm going to have to do right after I tie on this little piece of beads. But hi, and welcome. Oh, come on! Go in a knot and stay there. I think I have not, in fact, tied a knot, but uh, <laughs> I'll just put some glue on it and call it a day. Because, eh. I think maybe the second knot that I tried to tie has actually undone the first or something. Okay, so I'm gonna just let that dry and not touch it for a sec, and then see what I've got for fabric to make um, some fake flowers. Ooh, I have also got this purple lining fabric that I might do something with. And this is also, this at some point was gonna be a corset lining, but I never, like, that corset morphed into that EL wire corset, and this was not needed, so it's a good way to recycle this. That's nice. Um, what else have I got? In the bag, labeled. We got fabric stored in these bag things. This one is lace, organza, tool, and lining, so let's see what I've got. Aha! And there I've got leg tool. That should work fairly well. I've also got the organ. Ooh, why have I got two kinds of tool? Okay. I've also got the purple organza. That is actually way better than this lining fabric, so bye. And then let's see what else I've got. Some black lace. These are kind of large flowers. Oh, but underneath is one with smaller flowers that I might be able to use. And that's it. That's not too shabby. So what I'm gonna do is just cut some strips. What length should they be? If I've got a flower about that big, it's about what, 10 centimeters around, and do that about five times, it's 50 centimeters long. Seems kind of reasonable. So let's put this away for a sec. Make some space on the table. Get rid of the and super glue before I glue everything to everything. So this length actually looks like it's about 50 or 60 centimeters. So maybe I'll just cut strips of this. Actually, I think this is the tool that I use to also cut strips for the the um, geez, 
the piping that I made for the EL wire. Now, I'm going to just cut this on the floor because there's not enough space on the table right now. Try to get that aligned. This is not super exact. I'm just going to cut some, I don't know, 10-ish centimeter wide strips. There we go. And then I'm going to fold it in half so I've got the raw edges together. And then I'm just going to do a gathering stitch along the bottom. And then when you pull it all together, it should sort of roll itself into a flower. Hopefully, maybe. I think I'd done one of these before, but it was like years ago. So I hope this is how I did it. Because that one turned out okay. I think what I've cut is a bit too long. Maybe it'll make two flowers. But I'm just gonna start with this length and gather it up to see where I end, where where I end up. Let's see whether I'm correct. And this gathering doesn't have to be perfect. The most important thing is that I can just pull all the fabric together and sort of roll it up. Um, have I made it halfway yet? Where was the original fold? Here. I think I need to go to at least there. Here. gather it up and see how far we get with what we've got.
Ah, that is... Ah, uh, it's some degree of flower, but I think it needs another, another layer to be any good. Maybe if I cut the strip a bit more narrow, uh, I will get slightly smaller flowers, but they will wrap around on themselves more times for the same length of fabric. So I'm not entirely sold on the see-through-ishness of the, of the tool. Maybe I should try this with, I don't know, satin or something. Now I'm getting tangled up. Where is the start? Here we go. Should probably not let this flap out like that and just pull it into the center. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sold on this, actually. I feel like the um, fabric is too tall, or something, and it's not wrapping around nicely. I'm not sure. not forming into the nice rose-ish shape that I expected it to. I don't like it. Maybe I should try narrower? I'll just uh, continue gathering but I'll go a little bit up in the fabric, so it'll be a narrower strip. Then I'll try that piece. Or maybe I should have two layers of tulle layered together, because that would make it a bit more um, opaque. Or maybe I should even layer some of the organza inside of this. Ooh, that might be nice. Alright, let's see if I gather this bit up, whether it's any better. Of course, there's a lot of junk at the bottom. But... I'm not sold on this whole thing. I'm going to take it out and put some organza inside. Maybe that'll be better. Let me just cut some of that and see how we do.
Wow, this is cut hideously off grain. Is it better on the other side? <laughs> it's a bit pathetic. But whatever. I'll try to just straighten it up as I cut it. over a candle and the fibers will tighten up. Oh yeah, that's also an option with, I'm not even sure what this is made of, but definitely with the organza you could melt it a little bit to make it crumple up, but let's see first whether this actually, oh I actually, I thought I got it narrower than the tool, but whatever. <laughs> uh, let's see whether this does anything for me. I just sort of fold that in half. This is so slippery. Am I really gonna need to pin this crap? I don't want to put more work in. Maybe I should have just bought more fake flowers. That would have also been an option and would have cost me like two euros and would have saved me this whole crap. But I guess there is some charm to the concept of DIY. So let's do it. I do like the, um, the shimmery effect through the mesh. It looks very ethereal, I think is the word I'm looking for. Ethereal, but in a dark kind of way. Which is a pretty Halloween aesthetic, if you're asking me.
think I've also still got some dark purple um, taffeta. That might also work nicely for this. I should have a look at that. Or maybe I should look up tutorials on how to do fabric flowers, but meh. I have a feeling that a lot of them are about... I don't know. I don't know, maybe that actually is a good idea. To look that up, because I'm probably not the first person attempting to do this. Alright, let's crumple this up and see whether I like it. Oh yeah, the purple lining inside the tool might also be nice. That's a good point. So many options. Because yeah, the lining was a bit too uh, bright, but maybe with the black layer on top it would be a bit better. This is not really... I needed to gather into like sort of swirly thing. Oh, it's actually better if I don't pull it as tightly. And just sort of roll it into a swirl. Huh. That looks vaguely like a flower. I could, I could get on that. Pull it a little bit. I think I'm fairly happy with that, actually. I'm gonna just... sort of fold this side over and towards the bottom. And then see if I can stitch right through it to keep everything in place. I'm gonna just stick right through it and hope I don't poke into my fingers too much. And it doesn't really matter what the back of these things looks like, as long as, uh... Because I'm, I'm like gonna glue it down. As long as the front looks good, we're, we're good. I think. Let's see. Will this hold? Yeah. It's not the best flower I've ever done, but. Uh, yeah, the organza is a bluish, purplish, sort of shifts color sort of deal. It's really cool. Let's pull this out a little bit. Uh, it's not, not exactly what I want it to be. Looks quite frumpy. This should be a bit more. I don't know. Does it look okay? I'm not sure. What if I hold it up to this thing? Ah, eh, nah, nah. I think I need actual fake flowers. The, this is quite busy. There's quite a lot of detail. It's got all the tiny beads. It's got the spider. It's all like small detail things. 
And having this sort of abstract flower is just kind of garbage on this. Oh, wait, I think I had some some small fabric flowers, like the ones you can just buy in my stash at some point. Maybe I got rid of them. Paper it so the inner leaves are smaller. Yeah, that's. I was thinking about that, and you are probably correct. But let me look through some drawers. Because I might have saved some of those. You know the hideous, tiny satin roses that you can buy? I. The reason I might have gotten rid of them is because they are hideous. But uh, I might, might have kept them and not gotten around to throw them out. Oh, I also have some strips of lace that I might be able to gather into something. <laughs> that. Where is that general decoration thing? Oh yeah, I've also got fabric Halloween figures. This. I've also got some feathers that I might be able to use. Uh, aha! Here is my pack of teensy teensy flowers. So I've got these dudes. They're a bit tiny for the amount of filling I'm trying to get here. They have either the, these, these sticky things on the back that I might have to peel off because that's hideous as well. I think I might actually end up using these. It's good I didn't throw them out. Oh. Well, let's see what I can do with the feathers. Feathers does seem a bit out of place, because if you go like spiders, then plant things make some degree of sense, but feathers maybe don't. I'm not entirely sold on that, but... What have I got? just actually why am I making huge flowers when I should probably start with small decorations on the base and I, I don't like the, 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 the feathers I don't think it makes sense for what it is so I'm gonna just start with the leaves and then figure out what size filler I need maybe maybe that's a smarter approach So, let's see, I've got quite a bunch of these. And these all came off the same stick that the, the, um, the thing. <laughs> the berries were on before. So if I try to just arrange these sort of along the edge, well, actually it shouldn't go down too far that way because that's just going to go behind my ears, right? So more likely like this. I'm going to cut off, cut off the stems because they're just getting in the way. Let's get the hot glue gun out and just Go nuts with the leaves, why not? It's the best plan I've got at the moment. And worst case scenario, I can just go buy some fake flowers tomorrow. I feel like feathers would be nice with the skull. Oh yeah! If I do some kind of bird skull, the feathers might make some degree of sense. Or maybe I should just make two headpieces, one with bird things and one with spider things. That might also be an option. Uh, 
Well, then I'll just need two Halloween parties. To wear them all. Yeah, maybe I'll just leave this with a spider theme. And do a separate bird one. Who knows? I do feel that it maybe the top looks a bit unbalanced. Because this is this is quite like I was going for asymmetrical, but then we've got this at the top and then a whole void here. So maybe I need to add something here-ish. Because now I feel it just looks a bit weird. Well, let's put it on my head. It's not that bad when you're not looking at it flat on the table. Still feel it needs a bit of height in the middle. So maybe I'll end up making an extra strand of beads that goes somewhere like here. Or I'll, I'll glue something to this stick. I don't know. What if I glue a leaf here? No, that's garbage. That's way too heavy. Uh, the single flower there doesn't make any sense because it's a spider web. I think maybe I'll just do an extra strand of beads, like here, or something. Or maybe here-ish. Something. Make it not so... Something needs to go around here to make it not so lopsided. But, okay, leaves. Let's start something like that. And I need, I'll need to do the front and the back. Well, let's start with the front. <laughs> and then worry about the back. And maybe I shouldn't start at the bottom. I should start near the top because then I can layer over it towards the bottom. I'll just... Or should I go in some kind of circle arrangement? I think that's too neat for what it is. Doing that. Maybe I don't want... Ah. Uh, I don't really like the leaves. I mean, I'm not really sure what else to put there. Let's just- I'll just start gluing stuff down. Fuck it. Fuck this. Pardon my language, but... My frustration levels call for it. I'll just start somewhere, and if I don't like it, I'll have to start all over, and that's fine. I feel like putting a pair of these somewhere, like... Oh, this is coming off. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You must stay. I put a pair of these, something like. I don't know. I'll cut them off because I can't really use the stems anyway, it's too big. I'm gonna just maybe put it on the head so I can look at it not so flat. Some of these are way more dangly than others. Mm. So, cut more of the stem off, all of the stem off. Then you can barely see the berries, though. 
Like it just you can see the the leafy thing on the on the end, but not the berries themselves. It needs more foliage to like stick out of. This is also not great. I don't know. I do feel like I need to put a bunch of flowers there. And not a bunch of leaves. So I'm gonna need flowers. I'm gonna need flowers and I need flowers. But I don't wanna make flowers. These little thingies are just way too small as well. It just looks ridiculous. I think I'm just gonna call it quits for today. Well, I'm gonna do one more strand of beads and put it here somewhere so that it's not so uh, unbalanced, symmetrically speaking. But I legit think I should just go out and buy some fake flowers and spray paint them black and stick them on because I, like everything else I'm doing is just not great. So I think I'm gonna do just a strand and then call it quits for today. How about that? It's already way past six anyway. Let's do that! So, one more strand then. And then either I'm gonna Google better flower tutorials or I'm just gonna spend the two euros on fake flowers. Is probably honestly the better idea. And seriously, next time I'm like, oh, I could have chains or I could just put a bunch of beads on a bit of wire, I should just skip it for this week and order the goddamn chains. Because this is super tedious. Okay, this is long enough to go, let's say, here, and do I like it if that happens? Or potentially there. Um, I think I like this more actually. It makes the front ever so slightly more symmetrical. And it leaves the same kind of gap there. 
So let's... Ah! Seriously? Six, seven, eight, it's about ten beads that came off. Okay, let's put ten beads back on. Me. Attempt number two. Needs a bit more. <laughs> okay, that's a bit too long, but we'll fix that when I tie the knot. I can manage to tie it because it's kind of short. Come on! Yes! I think I have tied at least one knot. <laughs> Go through there, you can do it. Yeah. Alright, got it. Let's see if the super glue still works. Oh, okay, now that I've got the bit that was doubled over in the needles, I think I've got enough to actually tie a knot here. I think this is going to be easy. It's a bit too long. Let's take maybe two beads off. Yeah, that's better. Okay, that's the final drop of glue for today. So, evaluation time. What have we learned? When you think you want flowers, buy actual flowers. Instead of thinking, oh, I've got leaves and berries, I'll just make something up.
that's I think lesson number one. <laughs> lesson number two is this fishing line wire beading stuff isn't drapey enough for what I wanted with it, so next time I'll just use regular sewing thread to do the same thing. Number three, don't try to spray paint loose bamboo skewers because they will just end up rolling around and getting very unevenly painted. Just wait until you've glued them on. Um, lesson number four. Try not to glue your fingers together or get stuff stuck to your sleeve. I think that was the main lessons for today. Uh, with that, I'm going to leave you. Uh, I'm going to try to finish at least the flower stuff this week and then figure out whether I want to do a second one with a skull or whether I'm going to put the skull in this one. And You'll see when the, uh, when the stream goes up on YouTube, like the announcement of it, uh, whether it's going to be the shirt next week or more shenanigans with this. I, I do think that doing the, the skull with the LEDs or something... <laughs> yeah, you, you gotta take your lessons learned from this, you know? It's the first time doing this and, uh, you know, I, I have learned things. Uh, but yeah, maybe next week's shirt, maybe next week's skull. We'll see what happens. Maybe something else entirely. But in any case, thanks for hanging out with me and chatting while I do this. Uh, so at least you can tell me when I've got stuff stuck on my sleeve. Uh, and I'll see you next week. Have a great evening.